this is a race for the championship. That's our practice time, normally 1670. Usually 1660, 1670 is practice. We usually qualify 40, we just did 230s. It gave me a lot of confidence because we're the fastest truck here, so we're running pretty good right now and we're gonna run even stronger in qualifying. We've been in a, in a competitive points race all year with a young man named Ross Chastain who, uh, they've traded the lead probably five or six times this year. Right now we're, sick, we're second place, six points behind him with one race to go. Seth, let's do it now. We need the pole bad, brother. If he can go one, we can go zero. Track record right here, baby! One one hundredth of a second. What? It's 16.18 to 16.19. Woo! What a race that's going to be. Yeah, I'm only down seven points. I only uh, lost one on him. But uh, I think we can get it in the race. He has to finish fourth, which he still has to pull pill and see where he uh, starts. But inside second row. Why? Because he pulled a two. That means you qualified second, you go to third. What? You should Where go. does he go? He's outside pole. Whatever. They're, they're just trying to change it. They Whatever. They did. You know what they did? They put you and the 39 to the rear because he said they may be making first and second. Whatever, dude. What are they talking about? They're so full of it. I go to pole. Be cool, boy. You'll do fine. This is a race for the championship. Only separated by six points between first and second. Green flags out. We're racing. Greco in the 74 and the 46 of Cohen both got sideways off turn four on the restart. Greco looks down to the inside, pulls up into the second spot. Chastain taking the lead as he went into turn number three. Run out of the groove and cool your tires back down. Can you do that? The right rear uh, started heating up and that's what caused it to get loose. Uh, when, the, uh, when the 39 got me real sideways, got me in a drift through the corner, uh, it heated up the, the right rear a lot. So it started getting really oily and loose. Very exciting. I was very pleased with the outcome. Uh, had to take the second for the, for the uh, year, but we had some good races, man. That kid deserves it. We're gonna load the truck in one piece and go home happy. I wanted the championship for my birthday present, but I guess I didn't get it. It don't matter. We still finished second in the points. That's still pretty good. Most NASCAR, good NASCAR drivers don't even do that. Now, before we get this baby out on the street and start playing around with it and pulling around, we got a couple of more things that we have to do. One of which is to bleed the system. So, nice and easy. You go to the breakaway switch that we just put up there, boom, you pull it. You activate the system. You go to the caliper that's furthest down the line, you bleed it, then you plug everything back in, then you pull it back out, go to the next one down the line, and so on and so on and so on until you're done. It's just that simple. Yeah, the main thing you want to keep in mind is you do not want to drain that reservoir out of hydraulic fluid because what you're going to do is pump a whole bunch of air in that whole system and it defeats the whole purpose of bleeding the brakes. <laughs> that's a very good point. So once you got that done and once we get it done, we're going to take this out on the road, we're going to heat up the brakes a little bit, drive it around, bring it back, let it all cool down, then we'll go through the whole process again, bleed the brakes again, check for leaks, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it sounds a little tedious, sounds like a lot of work. It's really not that bad, and let's face it, you're spending a ton of money on this stuff. It's better to be safe than sorry. That's what the whole braking system's all about. Yeah, and, and safer than sorry is the whole way to go with this, because we spent a few extra bucks, you'll spend a few hundred bucks up front to put a system like this in, but the braking capabilities are so much more than what you had before. Yep. I mean, a decrease in stopping of 50%, I mean, you can't really beat that. No, we gotta give this thing a bath, we got a couple other things to do, and then we can get it rolling. But keep in mind, another thing, we're in Florida with this particular trailer, so if your trailer's over 3,000 pounds in Florida, the DOT tells you that you've got to have a braking system on it. So you might want to check with your state, wherever you live, and make sure you're within the codes, because the trailer manufacturer might not have them on there. That's your responsibility. Oh, one other thing, lug nuts. Do not hit these things with impact. Torque them down to spec, <laughs> otherwise you're going to break the studs, and that's a whole other mess you're going to create for yourself. Do it the right way. Yep, same thing on the truck as the trailer. All right, dude.
This is much better, man, between the, the max brake and the hydraulic brakes on the trailer. I feel much safer, especially with you driving, man. because yeah, I'm really worried about your safety. You know what? I've got a good idea how we can really test with this thing. Take oh. your seatbelt off. I bet I can throw you through the front windshield. Uh, you know, if it, we can it, do that, then we've accomplished our goal today. On paper, that's a great <laughs> idea, but I don't know if I can accurately execute it for you. I don't want to disappoint you. It was actually your wife's idea. <laughs> I know. I know. I just signed a new insurance plan. It's interesting. Hey, the deal is, turbo's in. Now, Speed Demon here can pick up nice and fast, and we can actually slow it down and get back to the shop safely, which is what we need and to you do. Know what, if we don't slow down down time I got that brush guard we'll hit it they'll never know we're there we just keep on going <laughs> nice big hole right through the building all right dude seriously let's get back safely all right safely for more information on anything you've seen on today's show check out speedtv.com or visit our website at truckutv.com